$100 in three hours doing a task grabber job. And this has to be the most profitable gig economy job I've ever done. And what's even crazier is that there's potential to make even more money with task rabbit jobs. And I'm going to tell you exactly how you can make money as a tasker. Hi, I'm Shane of the Well Five, and I create videos to help you eliminate debt, grow your income, and build wealth. I've done a few jobs as a tasker, such as unpacking, packing, helping people to move, and helping them organize their spaces. And each time I do a task rapid job, I make $100 within three to four hours. And I think that is so awesome. So I want to help you to get a job as a tasker. So I'm going to tell you all about how you can make money with task rabbit. But before we get into the video, I want you to give this video a thumbs up if you are all about making extra money. TaskRabbit is an online and app-based marketplace that helps the everyday person find the help that they need. So basically on the TaskRabbit platform, a person can go on and find someone to help them out with a bunch of different tasks. There are tasks for photography, moving, unpacking, delivery, for shopping, for graphic design. There are tons of different tasks that a person can go and find someone to help them with. So basically TaskRabbit connects people who need help with the people that can help them. And I originally found out for, about TaskRabbit, I think on a commercial, like a long time ago, and then Within the past year, one of you commented on my videos, on one of my Grubhub videos, and told me that this was a way that you were making money and making lots of money, like $75 an hour. And I went on to it, but I didn't really take it too seriously at the time. But then my sister, who's a college student, she signed up for TaskRabbit. She and her boyfriend signed up for TaskRabbit. And she was telling me about all the money that she was making per day, several hundred dollars per day. And so then I was like, you know what? This is worth some more attention. <laughs> and so basically I signed up to be a tasker on the TaskRabbit platform and that's how I got started. So in order to apply to become a tasker with TaskRabbit, all you have to do is fill out an online application and then do a background check and then complete their online training modules. And all of that can be done within a few days and then you can start making money on the TaskRabbit platform. Here's the part that you've been waiting for. How do you make money as a tasker on the TaskRabbit platform? So you make money depending on the category that you are working in and you set a rate based off of each category. So as an individual person, you can work across many different categories. So for me, I can work in photography and moving, for example, and my rate will be different for each category. And so typically some categories will have a higher rate than others. So for example, if I do photography, my rate might be lower than my rate for moving. And then, what will happen is you get to set your own rate for each category. TaskRabbit will suggest a rate when you're starting off and usually what I've seen is that the rate starts around $15 per hour and it ranges upwards like into the 30s and $40 per hour depending on the category and how much experience you have doing that task in that category. But keep in mind, you can set your own prices. You don't have to use the suggested price that TaskRabbit suggests to you. You can set whatever pay you would like to receive. And the cool thing is that TaskRabbit will take into account the experience that you've gained as a TaskRabbit and then suggest to you after you've done a few jobs or a few tasks within that category and say, hey, you actually have some experience here doing moving jobs. You should bump up your rate to this number that they suggest to you. And you can choose to bump it up or not. And you can also choose to do something different than what they suggest. And so that's really cool is that you can do multiple tasks within TaskRabbit and have variable rates based off of what your expertise is and 
and you get to start off at pretty at a pretty good rate. And so as I mentioned, some jobs do pay a little bit more, and one of the jobs that tends to pay a whole lot, and it also does not operate based off of the hourly system, system is the IKEA jobs. IKEA jobs can pay hundreds of dollars per day. However, one thing to keep in mind is that IKEA jobs are not based off of the hour, and the expectation is that you will continue to do the work until the job is done. And so it's really cool though because I've seen like my sister and her boyfriend get IKEA jobs worth like 250 to even $350. So if they do that one task in one day and even within a couple hours, if they do it within a couple hours, they're making a lot of money compared to other jobs and definitely compared to minimum wage. So there's a lot of potential to make lots of money on TaskRabbit with the base rate pay. Then you also can make money with the tips. You get 100% of your tips and people can pay you tips in the app or in cash. And I've had the experience of both happening where some of my customers have paid me both ways. They paid me in cash and on the app. And so you're able to make lots of money, not just from the base pay, but also from tips as well. When someone is interested in scheduling you to do a task, they'll contact you for whatever service they are looking for. And then you have to respond to them within a few hours in order to, I guess, lock the job in, in a sense. If you don't respond, then TaskRabbit will release that job and it will ding you for a reliability incident because they want people to be very responsive on their platform. So they give you a few hours to respond to a job. And all you have to do to respond to a job is just write back and say, hey, thanks for reaching out. You don't necessarily have to schedule anything or anything like that. They just want you to be in communication with people. And that goes for orders that, or tasks that you are scheduling in advance and tasks that are happening on the same day. The cool thing about TaskRabbit is that there is flexibility in when you can earn money. So TaskRabbit does recommend that you set yourself on a schedule. They ask you to plan out your availability upwards to two weeks in advance. So that way, customers are able to request your services and then lock you in and then everything is kind of like squared away. But you do have the option to work on the same day. So you can go onto the app and then say that you're available to pick up jobs on the same day. And that not only increases your earning potential, but also adds to the flexibility of when you are able to earn money. So you're not only able to schedule, plan out the money that you're making, but also make money on a whim. So I think it's really cool that they have the option to do that. And you don't have to worry about locking yourself in as well into a geographical region. TaskRabbit can allow you to work anywhere really. You just go into the app and you circle where you are and where you wanna work and then you are gonna be available to start making money. So there's tons of flexibility about when and where you can make money with TaskRabbit. You can also stack the number of tasks that you are doing in a day. That way you have a full schedule of tasks to complete and that means a lot of money that you can make in one day. So you can do multiple jobs with multiple people. The only thing you have to do is just figure in the transportation time between task to task. That way you aren't overlapping with one job with the next. But you're able to take on as many tasks as you want in order to make the amount of money that you desire in one day or one week or one month. My experience with TaskRabbit has been really great so far. As I mentioned, I have done a few jobs with TaskRabbit and each and every single time I make a minimum of $100. And the tasks that I have done have been helping people to pack boxes. That was my first job, packing candles into a box for a company that was doing a presentation. And I made over $100 for that task. And then the next task that I did was helping a woman to unpack from her moving into Atlanta. She moved from, I think, New Jersey to Atlanta and she needed assistance unpacking the boxes that the moving company had dropped off. So I helped her to unpack the kitchen 
And then another task that I did was helping this couple to pack up their kitchen and then just load the boxes onto the truck. But I really didn't do much of the loading. Her husband did most of the loading of the boxes onto the truck. So I really kind of just packed. And each experience that I had was really good. The people were very friendly. And most of all, I was able to make over $100 with each of those tasks. The first task that I completed with TaskRabbit seemed a little sketchy at first. I think I was just a little nervous. So that person wanted me to help pack up candles and they had just done a presentation for their business with some other business that they were collaborating with. And they set up a hotel room with candles displaying their product. And so they wanted me to come to the Ritz Carlton to pack up the boxes. So the guy's picture was a little pervy looking. <laughs> and then I was a little like concerned about like going to a hotel room. And so I just told like my family members like, hey, th hey this is the address that I'm going to, this is the person's name and whatnot. But everything turned out to be just very good like they were very professional we all packed <laughs> they just needed some of my assistance i packed the bo few boxes they packed a few boxes and it was very lovely they gave me food <laughs> and they also paid for my valet parking at the ritz carlton and they gave me tips and so it was a really good experience and, and then i continued to do it again at other jobs that happened to be in other people's homes so i will say if you are going to be doing task rabbit just know that you are going to be in people's homes for the most part because people are looking for someone to give them a helping hand most of the time around their home like helping them with organization helping them to pack different things or whatever it may be just around their house so if you don't feel comfortable being in someone else's home this may not be the the job for you but it is a way to make a lot of money because the pay rate is really high and you don't have to do a lot of driving you don't have to do a lot of things that the other gig economy jobs require from you this is just a lot more easy in my opinion each job has been very simple <laughs> i've been able to sit down pack boxes talk eat and be able to get paid 100 plus dollars in three to four hours so to me it was a win-win now if you have been looking for other ways to make money in the gig economy on the side i have several videos that can help you out so check out this video right here it's going to tell you how you can make money through a gig economy job and also earn a referral bonus to get you started right out the gate and if you are looking for ways to make money make sure that you subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you can see my future videos and i can help you to make the money that you're looking to earn